I, I said to my mate, actually, I thought he was really yeah, good. I yes. thought he played really well today. And I think, in a way, he'd probably been a little disrespectful to him to say that the, the boys, but maybe he just put in a good game today. Um, you know, I think Moran looked like he was struggling a little bit with his injury, then he went off. Uh, but then Lindelof came on. I thought Lindelof played really well up against him. You know, he, 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 he didn't do much in the second half for us. Um, and we, when it went to injury time and when the 11 minutes came up, which United, United's management on the ball, everything's going mad with them because they were playing ball left, you know, from right back to left back across the pitch. I mean, it's Sunday league stuff like that. You just play five yards, that's yeah. when you draw the man in. Yeah. You know? yeah. Lee, top man, mate. Really appreciate your call. Uh, cool, keep them coming in, Manchester United fans. Want to hear from you. Let's go to Reese, though. He's an Arsenal fan, right, Reese? Good evening, Reese. Hey, guys, you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Kai Havertz on the back of your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Kai Havertz scrambling for a receipt. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, the, the, like last season, you know, we outlived the good ourselves. The past three games, we've been terrible. Yes, we've won two, but. The, the draws have just, like, the wins have just been, you know, they, they, they haven't felt like a win, they felt like little scrambles, you know, and today we could have scored 9, 10, it was horrific, and we're lucky that Traore did go down, otherwise that's a 3-2 loss today. Do, do you not look at Havertz as well, I know everyone's keep talking about it, but... He looks to me like he's playing in like second gear, like he's not winning. It's always you know, been he's like slow, he's, he's sluggish, he's not making them jacker runs behind yeah, the yeah. behind the centre half and right back. You know, he's not but, doing that job, is he, properly? But by no means am I not like a football talent scout, but I don't know what we score in Kai Abbott to spend 65 minutes. You know, being Scary, free. isn't it, mate? We've been a bit Chelsea here, and I don't know what justified a 65 minute. And I don't know what they saw to go, you know, let's go buy this guy. And I, the one thing that really concerns me is this change of formation, you know. Last season, incredible, you know, we battled it right to the end with the best team that I've, a lot of us have probably ever seen, you know, Man City. And we've changed it up. And we've gone downhill. Like, I don't know why we're not playing Gabriel. Gabriel and Salido were incredible last season, you know. They were part of the shift, like, we, we haven't seen for ages at Arsenal. And Do you think managers get bored, though, um, Reese? of like, you know, like, just try and complicate things. We've seen Pep do it in the past. Is Arteta doing that? But he's over Arteta. Yeah, just <laughs> overthinking it and just, just trying <laughs> yeah. to complicate it. Look, like, I'm sure you, you guys obviously know 100 times better than me. It, it, it might be that the fact that we, we might think that we're going to get caught out this season by playing the same as last season, but... It's like what Liverpool did when they won the league the, uh, the year after just missing out the city. They didn't do anything, they didn't do much, they bought a little bit better and they bought in the right players. They bought Declan Rice, they bought Kai Havertz, which is backfired completely. Um, you know, we bought like all these little players now to go on and push for the title at the end. Mm. Well, well, he, somehow he, he, we've yeah. changed it, we changed the team, we changed party at the back. I don't know. Unbelievable. I, can't, I cannot believe Thomas Partey is playing right back. When I look at centre midfield players and I think, could you play centre half or could you play right back? I do not look at Thomas Partey and think, you can play full back. It, it just doesn't make sense no. to me. It's a crazy decision. <laughs> I don't get what he's doing. It's so simple. Arsenal got a brilliant yeah. side with Declan Rice, Thomas Partey, and Odegaard in midfield. Do you think as well, the James team picks itself. Do you think James as well? Partey's probably thinking, like, we want to start right back. They want to run into the midfield. Can't just start in the midfield and stay in the midfield. Let um, what you've been understanding last season at right back carry on overlapping as um, Saka. Yeah. Stop complicating it. It really is unbelievable, really, what we're seeing from Arteta. Uh, Arsenal fans, you can keep having your say on it. But let's take a look at the latest odds in the 5 